Hello everyone, this is Brady. Today this is a fundamental tutorial talking about how to monitor the execution time of animation node.js. In the past, I've made a fundamental tutorial talking about how to uh, the trigger of animation node.js. If you're unsure, you can go to the right upper corner. Um, you can watch after this tutorial because they are not necessarily related. I just want to ensure that uh, you know that uh, at the left upper corner, that there is a time which talks about the execution time of your node.js. And the reference number that I usually think is everything less than 200 milliseconds is kind of nice. That's kind of opinion. That, that's, that's my experience. But uh, you may necessarily go beyond other things. But usually normal values, I think, is about um, 50 milliseconds or less, which is kind of very, very fast. Okay. So you, ne you don't necessarily to worry about the performance of animation nodes unless you're doing very crazy things as what I am doing right now. This node tree actually has been done tutorial, so I don't want to really dig too much into. I just want to show you that in this particular case, there is a 200 milliseconds. Okay. Uh, what does it mean? It's like 0.2 milliseconds. But why do I actually need to care? This kind of lagging is because if I play this animation, you can see this frame per second is very low. Sometimes it's not very good for previewing the animation. You have to really render out the animation so you know how it looks like. And then you need to fix the bug. Like, oh, my animation is too fast. So I have to go back uh, the settings to divide more numbers and then re-render the animation so that I can see clearly. And then I realize, oh, there is another bug. I have to change all this kind of value again 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 going back and forth between the actual render and the, the blender file which is not a very productive so if we have a very good previewing which does not lagging in the viewport then we always have a better results or a better workflow which saves our time but here i also would like to warn you one thing that's a uh, the likes the line execution time definitely means more render time and uh, lagging in the viewport but uh, a short a very short um, execution time may also means lagging in the, may also means lagging in the viewport the reason is because if you're trying to generate a mesh or manipulating a mesh then your viewport will calculate all the kind of vertices so it has nothing to do with the animation nodes. Your animation nodes may run very fast, but your viewport may lagging due to other reasons. Okay. For example, if I have a plane which have uh, a trillion of subdivision surfaces, then it will definitely kill my computer right away. Okay. So this this is just how it happens. So you need to manage between all these kind of the how should I say? You need to manage between these this kind of different factors but uh, i as but at the end i would always say um better the performance better your work at least try your best to minimize the execution time is very important most of the time if you work correctly then you don't necessarily to worry about anything but there are certain certain there are certain circumstances that you really need to think about um how can i actually improve my knowledge for example this particular case that I'm actually creating a kind of whatever tornado and I have about 700 objects and it's kind of lagging pretty much 200, uh, 200 milliseconds average uh, by playing this animation so and uh, when sometimes it goes peak it goes to even 270 milliseconds and I think it's kind of very very bad because what if I would like to in instance 2000 objects then it will crash my computer right away or otherwise I cannot preview that or I cannot even render that in the future. So this tends to be a problem. So the question is how can I actually improve the method? How can I know where have I done wrong? And the method is pretty easy. You just hit ends and it goes to node trees and there is in developer that has an execution code and you can measure the execution node, uh, execution times and it will cause the panels. And this minimum and total are usually the same unless you're trying to use a loop so we know that this loop will actually be run multiple times uh, like 700 times in this particular case so as we can see 
This node by itself, it sh originally should be run less than one milliseconds. But after being run 700 times, it causes a total time of five milliseconds. And there is also nodes like 31 milliseconds, 27 milliseconds, 26 milliseconds, and so on and so forth. Which, from this example, what we can see is, uh, even if originally it takes less than one milliseconds, it's, it was originally running very fast, but after accumulating all this kind of time, it still ends up to be a very long execution time that you need to worry about. And within this my loop, it finally ends up 152 milliseconds. And we have the execution time, which finally ends up like 300 milliseconds, average, whatever, whatever. Okay. So this is just the thing that you need to worry about. But of course, there is also a preset which takes 180 seconds in this case. Uh, I think that there is actually causes a bug, which it exists cause of five. Uh, this is definitely a bug sometimes because if you are not using a loop, then the cost should always be one. Um, as you can see, each time I'm, I'm execution node tree, it's just the cost becomes longer. But the execution time that's really being shown here does not actually increase. So whatever, you don't have to worry about this total anymore. But that still, you, can, you should be able to get a kind of idea about uh, which node, node uh, which part of the node tree is taking the longest time. Here, I also would like to remind you that you can see the minimum time for the instancing part is actually incredibly low. Okay, so the all the kind of problem is not about the actual instancing of all these kind of cubes, but the rather the initial preparation part of all these kind of paths. Or right. once we have noticed, we can actually try to improve the node tree. Uh, and in my actual tutorial, they're talking about this entire setup. Um, the method I'm showing is a little bit different. So here, the basic, just uh, roughly explain what actually happens. I have a circles and I put a ran random um, points, a random vectors on all these kind of points to wiggle these uh, circle points to be wiggling so that all these kind of cubes should fly randomly. But uh, because, as you can see, by hitting a three vector noise, it's actually pretty cost that you do, you just uh, times all this kind of execution time for three times. So instead of in the actual tutorials, I've used another method. I just put a vector wiggle instead of all this kind of vector noise. And you just use the same amount as the count. So for this amount of vertices, you generate this amount of vector wiggles. You finally add up these vectors. So instead of originally that we have uh, like uh, 30 milliseconds um, each times the three vector noise, now everything just takes six milliseconds. So reduce from 90, finally down to six. And we can see from here, the execution node tree as well, that we only have 52 milliseconds. And finally, we end up as the execution time was down below the 200 milliseconds. But of course, if you try to just uh, play the animation, it just it goes up or down randomly. So you never know the actual, because from Frame from frame from frame to frame, your CPU, your CPU status and the other things will influence your execution time somehow. It's, it, there is a there is a range and a confidence interval that I'm not going to take off. Okay. And once we finish all this kind of thing, and because all these kind of panels are very informative but also annoying when you're trying to do whatever kind of stuff, so it just uh, goes back and disable that. Sometimes in the past, I see that if you reopen the files, all these kind of things goes back again. Uh, in certain kind of cases, I don't think it happens anymore, but in certain kind of cases, you go to preference and just save the preference again, then it will solve all, this, all these things. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.